But we begin with breaking news of a shooting involving officers in National City. Several local agencies have responded to this. And News 8's Chris Groves joining us live in National City from the scene. A lot going on there. Good morning, Chris. Look, a lot going on here right now on scene, and I want to direct your attention to a couple things that we're seeing and that we are hearing. If you look right here, that white car, that's whoever was inside, whether it was one person or, or multiple people. We're told that at least one person there got into that shootout with officers that were trying to pull over this car. That's pretty much the only confirmed information that we have right now, a shootout between whoever was in that car and National City police officers. And any time you see or you're on the scene like we are right now of one of these shootings uh, where someone is firing rounds at an officer, it is tense. We just saw a number of tactical officers with uh, those long guns, with those AR-15 style rifles, uh, you know, moving out from the jack of the box. We understand that they were on the roof at some point trying to clear the building. We just saw them leave the scene. So it does appear just based on a lot of the operations that we're seeing that the search is still on for someone. Now, who that person could be, the relation to this incident, we're still trying to confirm a lot of those details. Uh, we spoke with one officer on the scene, and he told us it would be likely a very long time before we receive an update, but we're still trying to get information confirmed for you early this morning because this area here, Roosevelt in National City, uh, this is a very busy area, especially in the early morning hours with a lot of people heading to work. A lot of these streets closed down right now. We're very close to the freeway. Uh, so there are a lot of people right now with eyes on the law enforcement that is out here. We're seeing cops from El Cajon, Coronado, CHP, all assisting right now. In fact, even a drone flying overhead the scene at this moment, uh, potentially maybe just taking a closer look from above, if you will, of that crime scene and potentially trying to recreate exactly uh, what happened. So again, we are trying to confirm uh, the details surrounding this shooting and who could be involved. And as soon as we do have that information, we'll bring it to you.